Right, previously in my uh, previous video I showed you how to get rid of the annoying ads such as this muzzle wearers, ugly faces, poison vaccine, all sorts of things that you don't you just hate watching them or seeing them on the side of your Outlook site. And basically I told you to keep clicking on them and opening the windows and closing them. Keep clicking on those ads, opening that ad and then closing them. And eventually they'll catch up and find out that this IP doesn't like this or they don't buy from them and they're not interested. Uh, at first they think it's a robot, they keep switching these around and then later uh, they'll stop sending you those things. Uh, however, after a while they might come back again after a couple of months or so it might come back to you so another way to get rid of them um, uh, there's a few ways uh, uh, that way you're not getting rid of ads altogether you're just limiting or restricting the ads that you don't like another way is to personalize your ads which MSN or Outlook itself offers that so you can just go there in your settings and just personalize your ads so you're basically telling them what you need to see what you like to see uh, in what areas and I wouldn't like to do that because you're basically telling them about your personality about your character about what you like what you don't like so those kind of things you're basically feeding the giant uh, Microsoft or MSN or Outlook whatever Google if you want to get rid of the ads altogether good and bad altogether um, you can have an ad blocker extension added to your uh, search engine mine is Chrome uh, in this instance if you have Internet Explorer instead of Chrome or if you have Firefox or anything else then you have to search for that kind of thing but before we do that I would suggest that you go to this setting which has got these three dots here on the right top corner of your window go to that click there go to the settings just make sure you have actually blocked the pop-ups so you just type in the search uh, area pop and it will bring up a few things site settings is here at the bottom so you click on that site settings you go all the way down you have an option pop-ups and redirects uh, at the moment if you just go back if you look at this mine says blocked I've already blocked pop-ups and redirects but if, it, if yours says allowed then you need to come here let's just go back again if it says instead of blocked here it says allowed you need to click on that and come here and make sure this switch is off you see when I turn it on it says allowed when I turn it off it's blocked so it's blocked and also on top of that you can add uh, any site that you don't you want to block um, f from sending pop-ups or redirects to you uh, like I have added outlook.live.com so you add your right here for instance like I have done outlook.live.com and then press OK uh, I don't need to add anymore so cancel it and at any time you can just go to this again and remove that if you want or switch this back on uh, the pop-ups um, are the pop-ups of obviously you, you go to different sites you land on a site and then suddenly you have pop-ups ads coming up and you don't like them you don't want to have those things some sites you will have to have them so you'll have to actually come here and switch it on to enter a special site but usually you haven't got any problem if you block the pop-ups so that's one thing that you have to make sure of if you don't like ads and the other thing is you just go to Google or just right here uh, if I just close that so in case you don't know what I'm doing just open a new page and just say add blocker extension 
yeah, like I said, you can if you if you haven't if you're not using Chrome, Google Chrome, or you're using something else, then you need to search for that particular search engine. Mine is Google Chrome, so at blocker, uh, that is it. And just go there and add to Chrome. Here, here it is. Add to Chrome. Add block, best and blocker. Best that blocker. So, add to Chrome. Add extension. When you press this, something happens. Something appears here under this hammer shape of extensions, basically. You saw that coming up, and as soon as that happens. Another window opens and it says installing ad block. When it does that, <laughs> it's a tricky system. It says the honor system. Uh, hi from ad block team. Thank you for installing ad block. Ad block is honor aware, uh, which means that we trust each other <laughs> to be nice. Okay. Uh, so you can basically ignore this site and just close it but just let's just read on it's basically saying you pay what you can afford for ad block we we'll let you choose the price we'll send you a thank you note for paying you get a refund and you can keep ad block if you don't love it different amounts of donation but uh, by default they've chosen 35 uh, so, uh, or you can pay monthly various amounts. You just ignore that unless you actually want to donate to them. Uh, ignore that so you close this window. The extension is already added. And if I go there, you can see ad blocker is already added here to my extensions. And if I go back to my Hotmail and refresh my window, you can see now the ads disappearing altogether. Uh, you can wait a few seconds for it to completely load everything. Uh, you can see now everything is loaded and it says it looks like you're using an ad blocker. To maximize the space in your inbox, sign up for Ad Free Outlook. So they want you know Outlook knows that you've used an ad blocker, so they're tempting you to use Ad Free Outlook, which is probably either paid you have to pay, or uh, they'll send you ads into in your inbox instead of putting it here. I don't know. I haven't tried it, but that's all uh, another scam. And that's the way it is. You just blocked all the ads. And if I go to my extension, you can see now. If I go to my extension ad blocker, you can see two on this page is blocked. Two ads on this page is blocked. Um, at the moment, but there is more. Usually, you know, when you let your computer run and go on different sites, you'll see probably it says, for instance, it says ten ads blocked, two only on this site. So it's good and it's free there you go and that's your ad blocker what I forgot to say is if you really um, want to revert back to how things were with your ads appearing here then you can always go back to this again this uh, I don't know it was this symbol is it's supposed to be extensions but it looks like <laughs> the, the symbol itself I mean it looks like head of an Egyptian mummy or something it's just like an uh, a, an axe maybe or something anyway you go there you go there and you go to that extension that you don't want anymore and press on those three dots or the or action option and remove from Chrome or remove from whatever your search engine is just press remove and I'll remove it from, from that. And I'll be reverting back to how things were before. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to subscribe and share so we can rank higher. And 
other people like yourself can find this video and be helped. Be helpful. Thank you. Bye-bye.